Thoughts, Part 1. First, let's talk about what a high rail layout is. In the mid-1990s, toy train manufacturers raised the bar for realistic train operation by producing the most detailed and technically advanced O-gauge locomotives ever made. Layout builders responded by placing their emphasis on realism, scale, and prototypical operation. These new layouts were called high rail. The term high rail was first used in Lionel's Model Builder magazine in the 1940s. Why high rail? Because, to put it simply, the layout builder attempted to keep everything on the layout as close to scale as possible, except for the track, which was higher than track should be on a close to scale layout. O scale is one quarter inch to the foot. Track used today on high rail layouts, like this Gargrave's Phantom track, measures one quarter inch high. Translated to real life, the track would be one foot high, which is about twice the height of real track. That's why toy train track is called high rail. Why is it higher? It is higher to accommodate the thick flanges on the wheels of locomotives and cars designed to run on toy train track. The thick flanges help the train stay on the track and minimize derailing. O-gauge scale track is the correct scale height, and O-scale wheels have thin scale flanges. After filming numerous high rail layouts and interviewing their builders, we found the layouts differ with regard to degree of realism. However, all the high rail layouts we visited had these characteristics in common. The layout builders used only close to scale accessories. Vehicles, trains, and people were all O scale. That meant no 18 foot tall flagmen. The three rail, high rail track was ballasted to look as realistic as possible, and the curves on all the main lines were wide radius. After that, the degree of realism having to do with structures, locomotives, rolling stock, scenery, and operations varied. There's no wrong or right here. That's what makes building a layout so interesting. Layouts reflect the builder's personal vision, just like a painting reflects the imagination and vision of the artist. Oh yes, one other common thread we heard through all the interviews. A layout is never finished. And that's a good thing, because finished means it's over, and who wants the fun ever to be over? Enough chatter. Let's get on with the show. First stop, Lindenhurst, New York, where we find the train masters of Babylon. Babylon.